In step five of our SEO copywriting series, we're going to add a call to action button. So we've added our title, we've added the slug, we have created our intro paragraph, we embedded our video, which is this content block here. Now we're gonna add a call to action button that goes directly under the video. So this is the short code for the video. Just enter down, return underneath there. And this is where we're gonna put our call to action button. And the call to action button looks like this. In this case, it's just click to see, click to see just listed homes with the map. On my Lori Ballin website, it's sign up for instant webinars. And on my Ballin Brands website, go to the blog. Depending on what we're talking about, the button here is schedule a consultation with Ballin Brands. Uh, so the buttons can, can be changed. They can be saved in presets. We're going to use a short code again. So we're going to use short code ult ultimate, ultimate short code, short codes ultimate again. So click here, go to insert short code, and then you're going to go down to button and look down at the bottom right, you're going to see presets. And what you want to find is the CTA. These are the buttons, CTA, CTA, CTA. Um, I need to go in and mark these as CTA, maybe one main one in all caps so that we kind of have a default um, for the other people that are working on my blogs. But this just listed CTA is the one I usually use for the real estate website. And um, all I do is select it and then just insert short code. We'll go ahead and go over to preview. Now you'll be able to see there's the button and there's various colors and things like that that we can use as well. If you want to create a new button, just go to insert short code button. And you can uh, change your URL. You can change these background colors to whatever color you want. If you want to match your branding or you want to use something, you want to test green or blue or something like that. You can change the size of the button here. And then once you have, you can pick an icon if you want to have like a little computer in front of it or something or a little house. And then once you have it, click preview, make sure you're satisfied with it. And then go to presets, save current settings as preset and then title it. So green CTA, whatever you want to call it, click OK. And you're, you can insert short code and you're good to go there. In my case, I only need one, so I'm going to get rid of that one. That's how you add your call to action button on your WordPress website.